a conglomeration of uh, about uh, 107 anti-corruption crusade groups led by crime and corruption monitors has impressed on the incoming administration of President Lekbola Ahmed Tunubu to ensure the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission is cleaned off of entrenched corrupt uh, leadership symbolized by its current chairman, Abdul Rashid Bawa. The group pointed out that EFCC is an important government agent in Nigeria, established primarily to rid the society of corruption and not conceived as an agency for settling scores for political godfathers. The convener of uh, the comrade, Israel Uwejayan, who read the statement in Lagos, warned that if a government agency expected to fight crime is found going about its business in a manner that mimics uh, witch hunt and selective justice while also being unable to deal with the corruption going on within its own workforce, the nation is added for real-time crisis, conflict of confidence. He also noted that despite the government's claim of making the fight against corruption and uh, related practices a top priority, EFCC, the agency charged with the execution of the war, is in questions over mounting allegations of monumental corrupt practices. It is important to note that in Nigeria, despite government's claim of making the fight against corruption and related practices a, a top priority, the EFCC, as an agency charged with the execution of the war, is in question over mounting allegations of monumental corrupt practices that includes, one, the allegation that about 80% of cases under the EFCC investigations are not taken to court. EFCC offices have now literally, literally become the courtroom. Last week also, as you will recollect, the Zamfara State Governor, Bello Matawale, openly alleged that Abdul Rashid Bar, the EFCC chairman, demanded the sum of $2 million from him. And he said he has evidences as bribe to stop a purported probe against him. Three, even before Abdul Rashid Bawa was presented as substantive chairman, he has been arrested and detained by the anti graft agency in 2019 for selling at least 244 trucks worth about 20 to 30 million naira each to its proxies at 100,000 naira per unit. Holding crude oil seized by the federal government, violating section 31, subsection 2, and subsection 4 of the EFCC Act of 2004. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.